A Saturday night that promised to be memorable for Tavon Sweat, an All-American in 2023, turned into shocking headlines. As the Green Bay Packers desperately seek reinforcements for their defense, an unexpected twist in Sweat's fate may have completely altered the team's plans. Arrested for DWI, what does this mean for the franchise and the future of the talented defender for the Packers? A promising pick in the NFL draft, now tarnished by an off-field incident. Between raw talent and personal issues, the Green Bay Packers face a crucial decision. Is Tavander Sweat still a viable option to address the team's defensive issues? If you want to know more about it, stay tuned until the end and leave your like to help us and comment here. Would he be good for the Packers? Yes or no? Let's go to the video. Packers need run stuffer. Top NFL draft pick arrested Monmouth, Texas defender Tavander Sweat, a 2023 All-American, was arrested for DWI. The Green Bay Packers have been plagued by porous run defenses for years. One of the top prospects in the NFL draft, however, may no longer be a consideration for the general manager. On Saturday night, University of Texas defender Tavander Sweat was arrested by the Austin Police Department, Texas, on DWI charges. He was booked on Sunday and faces a Class B misdemeanor, punishable by a fine of up to $2,000 and 180 days in jail. Sweat was released on bail of $3,000. Standing at 6 feet tall and 368 pounds, Sweat is a massive man with immense talent. He was sometimes unblockable for the powerful Longhorns en route to winning the Outland Trophy as the country's best interior lineman, earning unanimous first-team All-American honors and being named the 12th Defensive Player of the Year. In his fifth and final year, he set a career high with 45 tackles, 8 tackles for loss, 2 sacks, for pass breakups, and 1 blocked kick. He even caught a touchdown pass in the conference championship game According to Pro Football Focus, 173 interior defensive linemen in this draft class played at least 150 run defense snaps. Sweat ranked first in run stop percentage, a metric that essentially measures impact tackles. He ranked 11th with his tackles limiting plays to an average gain of 0 0.4 yards. The Packers under head coach Matt Loeffler ranked last in the NFL in yards allowed per rush attempt. They allowed the leagues for worst games with over 200 rushing yards in 2023. Weighing 368 pounds, a player like Sweat wouldn't typically be on the Packers' radar. However, Sweat isn't your typical 368-pound fighter. It's as if there is a normal cannon at 368 pounds. He ran his 40-yard dash in 5.7 seconds at the scouting combine. Don't sleep on me because I'm a big guy, Sweat recently told the Draft Network. A lot of people are misinformed because I'm big, I move incredibly well for my size. They see 365 on the scale and it scares them. That never scared me. Don't be scared because it's a big number. A lot of people aren't used to that number. I get that, I love showing what I can do at that size. I've been doing it all my life, I've always been the biggest kid on the playground. That's nothing new to me, it doesn't affect me. Although he only had a few sacks, he ranked fifth among interior defenders in this draft class and pass rush win rate, according to PFF. With the ability to plug the run and push the pocket, he was seen as a second round candidate. Everybody wants to rush the passer. It's always about that sack number on the stat sheet. How are you going to do that if you can't stop the run? You'll have a long day if you can't stop the run, he told Mello, laughing. It will be interesting to see if Gutekinst bolsters his defensive line in this month's NFL draft. All five players who played last year, back in 2024.
including pro bowler Kenny Clark, 2020 to first round pick Devondi Wyatt, 2023 draftees Colby Wooden and Carl Brooks, and the hefty TJ Slatton. That was the news of the day. Let's move on to the next one. As the Packers prepare to strengthen their defensive line, the saga to find the ideal complement to Xavier McKinney continues. With the season rapidly approaching, the pressure on GM Brian Gutekinds to shape a cohesive defense is palpable. Sign up to receive the latest news about the Packers and find out who will be the next to join the ranks of the Green Bay Packers in pursuit of defensive glory. Don't miss any exciting moments as the Packers seek to improve their game and achieve greatness next season. The addition of Xavier McKinney as safety for the Green Bay Packers will provide an upgrade in several ways, with improved tackling being one of the most notable differences. Throughout his four-year NFL career, McKinney has had a missed tackle rate of just 6.9%, according to PFF. For some context, whenever a player is below 10%, he is quite solid and reliable in that aspect. Specifically in 2023, McKinney made 115 of his 120 to tackle attempts, missing only 5.7% of his opportunities. That failure rate was the lowest among 61 eligible safeties. I think that's just how I prepare, McKinney said about his tackling ability. I practice a lot. When you practice a lot, you usually play a lot. I critique myself a lot. I get better at the little things. I try to perfect my craft. I've always been like that. Obviously, I'm not going into it like I'm not trying to miss a certain amount of tackles. I just go out there and play and see where the ball falls. That's how things go. I'll try to improve that number from last year because I think even six or seven missed tackles is too much for a safety will definitely decrease that number. Of course, tackling will always be important, but with how we anticipate Jeff Halfley to utilize the safety position in his defense, it will be valuable. More cover one looks from the Packers and more five or six man pressures on third downs will leave McKinney on an island at times, where there will be cases where he'll have to bring down the ball carrier alone. McKinney's positioning each week will depend on the opponent and the game plan, so there will be times when we see him playing near the line of scrimmage, playing a bigger role in the running game as well. McKinney's willingness to attack will also benefit his teammates as he closes in on the ball carrier to help bring the player down. I want a guy that can erase things, defensive coordinator Jeff Halfley said in describing what he wants at the safety position. We have to eliminate explosive plays when we play this defense, so if a run gets through the middle, that guy has to come out of the middle of the field with his hair on fire. He has to be able to bring a guy down. I also want him to be a guy, when the ball carrier is wrapped up, he goes and ends the pile. Missed tackles were a problem for the Packers last season, both in the running game, leading to explosive plays, and in the passing game, resulting in yards after catch opportunities for the offense. Tackling has never been a strong point for Darnell Savage, with a career missed tackle rate of 17.4%. Last season, Savage had the 8th highest missed tackle rate among all safeties. Jonathan Owens would rank 22nd. The safety position remains a need that the Packers need to address, even with the addition of McKinney. The only other safeties on the roster currently are Anthony Johnson Jr., along with Benny Sapp and Zane Anderson, to mainstays of special teams. As GM Brian Gutekunst looks to address this position group, and presumably does so during the draft, versatility will be an emphasis for him. He looks for McKinney's potential running mate. As the Packers prepare to strengthen their defensive line, the saga to find the ideal complement to Xavier McKinney continues. With the season rapidly approaching, the pressure on GM Brian Gutekinds to shape a cohesive defense is palpable. Sign up to receive the latest news about the Packers and find out who will be the next to join the ranks of the Green Bay Packers in pursuit of defensive glory. Don't miss any exciting moments as the Packers seek to improve their game and achieve greatness next season.